everybody, welcome back to another episode of Team Break Tuesday, the live case breaks that we do here on Tuesday night. Tonight we're going to have some Bowman Inception. We've got a full case of Bowman Inception that we'll be busting open. We've also got a at least one mixer round that we're going to do tonight. We've got a half case of Big League that we'll do tonight as well, so it should be pretty fun. We have at least three rounds. If you'd like to grab some spots in those rounds, I'll tell you how many spots are left available, and we'll see what we're going to start off with. I think we'll probably start off with Bowman Inception because that's the one I'm most excited about. I think it's a pretty nice product. Let's go ahead and take a look at this right now. So Bowman Inception, starting it off. Take a look at the description here. Ten boxes in this one. Let's go ahead and get this one going. It looks like... By the way, we're going to force this one to go, meaning I'll just take the rest of the spots. Maybe I'll auction some off. Maybe I'll keep some spots for myself. But we'll start off with this one. So if you want to grab a spot in any of these breaks, I'll go ahead and show you what's left. And by the way, we will be randoming off a box of Bowman Inception for free to somebody that is participating in these breaks all right, let me take a look at PayPal one more time, and then we'll go ahead and start running this one. Here's the spots available. We're going to start off with Inception, which it is, it's up to $210 a box now. So Bowman Inception will get us started here. $210 a box. There is 20 spots sold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. So there's 10 spots open. Like I said, I'll grab all the rest of those spots. I might auction some of them off. I might keep some for myself if need be, but we're going to force this one to go. It is a 10-box break. Also, we got Big League, known as Big League 8. This one also has 10 spots. Again, I'll take all 10 spots. I might auction some off. I, maybe if I get the Pirates, I'll keep the Pirates. Maybe if I get a team that I you know, don't collect anybody from that team, I might sell them. And we're also going to force... Mixer 5. Now, Mixer 5 only has 9 spots left, so that's actually the closest one to go in, but I want to start off with Bowman Inception. So, Mixer 5, if you want to grab spots in that, I'll tell you the boxes involved in it. There's 10 boxes in Mixer Break 5, and they are 2023 Bowman Draft Jumbo, which is a $750 box. A hobby box of 2024 tops, a signature series retired player box from 2023. Lindsay says, won't let me send all messages. I can see uh, that message. Some people are having some chatting issues, it looks like. Ross says, YouTube's acting up and giving me a ton of issues. Looks like there's only 11 people in the chat right now. So uh, there's definitely some people having some issues for sure. Chrome Breakers Delight is in this. Gold Label is in this. A Series 1 Blaster is in this. Stadium Club is in this. And the Top Scrum Blaster and Bowman Blaster. So that's what we've got going on tonight. Is everybody with us? Can you hear me? So can you hear? Can you hear me, guys? It looks like... Are we good to go? It looks like there's been some issues out there. Let me know. Maybe I'll... I... I okay. How many spots left in H3? In H3? Robert says, cannot send messages on chat. I can see it right now. So we'll go ahead and get going with this one. Juanito says, we're loud and clear. So YouTube definitely has some gremlins going on. I don't think they sent out the... Uh, I don't think they sent out the notification that we went live. But hey, that's okay. We'll just go ahead and get started. We're going to start off with Bowman Inception right now. If you want to grab a spot, you can... Otherwise, we're just going to go ahead and start this one up and see what we can find. I'll bring in random.org right now, and we'll get going with it. All right, so random.org is still loading. Looks like maybe that page is having some issues as well. All right, so let me go over to PayPal real quick and see. Dennis O just sent in for Mixer 5. So Dennis O, we got that payment. Thank you very much. And the Collectible Exchange just sent in for 2 in Mixer 5. That's Tobias. So that one now only has like 6 spots left. Thanks, guys. But we'll start off with Bowman Inception. 
Chris said, this is not fun for him. He's still having issues sending messages. I can see it. I can see your message just fine. I think there just might be some sort of issue. Maybe try hitting refresh. Lots of people grabbing mixed five spots. Antonio just sent in as well. So Antonio will put you in there. Antonio Bergarello. There's five spots left in mixer number five. Hey, Ross, how's it going? Alrighty, so we'll go ahead and get started with Bowman Deception. It's a 10 box break. We have the following people in this one. There is all of these names right here. We got 20 people. We're gonna start off with this one. Take off, take all these names. And these uh these other spots, I'm just gonna. Chris, I can see I can see what you're saying. We're gonna take all these names and we're gonna put them in this spot right here. Actually, Joseph Scott just sent in as well. So Joseph Scott will get you added in at the last second. So you're in there as well to Bowman Inception. Brett, yeah, it was sold out. So um, you, I can put you another round or I can give you a refund. Let me know. I could put you in this if you wanted to. I could put, give you like a couple spots in this and maybe a spot in Big League if you wanted to get something tonight. We're going to force Big League to go too. Let me know before I run the randomizer You're here for Bowman Inception. Because I think, uh, what was it? I charged 129 So yeah, it, I can get you two Bowman Inception and that would, that would pretty much be equal. I think these were like 60 some dollars a piece. Let me know. All right, so we'll go to the list randomizer. And we'll see what... As he says, YouTube's glitchy saying not subscribe to the channel. So I think that's why it looks like there's so few people in the room. All right, blank username 95 just sent in for a Mixer 5. Adam, I can see it. Brett says, I'll do that if it's not too late. We can do it right now. So, Brett, I'll take care of you and put you in here twice in Bowman Inceptions. You're in there twice. I will go ahead and delete your credit. That's taken care of. Jason Sawyer just sent in for two Bowman Inception. Thank you very much. All right. I'll check one more time into PayPal. And make sure we got everybody before I hit that button. Bar says, I'm new here as well. Definitely there is a big glitch. It says we have three people in the chat right now, but that can't be right because there's more people that are chatting than three. And it's all it's all messed up. Joseph Ruberry has paid for Bowman Inception. All right, so there's four spots left. Like I said, I'll take those. And Dennis O has just sent in for Bowman Inception. All right, Dennis O, we've got you in there as well. I'm in a tornado watch, Jeb. It doesn't stop me from watching. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit glitchy right now. But we'll go ahead and get this one going. All right, so we've got those three open spots. Like I said, I'll take anything left over. Let's go ahead and get this started here. We'll take all these. We'll put them in here. This is the closest one to being sold out. There's three left. We're going to do this regardless if they're sold out tonight. I'll take the rest of the spots. And then if I might want to keep it or I might want to auction it off. We'll see. All right, so here we go. We've got all these names here. For good old Bowman Inception. Take all of these. And hey, with only 10 people in the room because of the glitchiness, if I do auction some of these teams off, you're not going to have much competition. So you might be able to get some very good deals tonight. Here's the teams. Travis Williams has the Arizona Diamondbacks. John Cashman has Atlanta. Robert has Baltimore and Boston. Nick has the Chicago Cubs. Joseph has the Cincinnati Reds. Cleveland is open. Dennis has... Colorado, Brett has the White Sox. Brett with the White Sox. Michael has Detroit. Jason has Houston. Alvarez has Kansas City. Kevin Gillette has the Angels, the collectible. That's Tobias, collectible exchange. He's got the Dodgers. 
Brett Adams has Miami. Joseph Scott has Milwaukee. Collectible Exchange has Minnesota. Richard Warden has the Mets. Hunter Latham has, Latham has the New York Yankees. The Oakland A's are open. Robert has the Philadelphia Phillies. Logan Kirk has the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, who else do we have? Hunter with the San Diego Padres as well. Joseph Ruber has Seattle. Raphael has the San Francisco Giants. Jason Sawyer has St. Louis. Tampa Bay is open. Collectible Exchange has Texas. Wesley has Toronto. And Washington goes to Wes. LMB, we have three teams left. If you want to go ahead and send over the money, pick your team. I'll just go ahead and do it that way. You can take Cleveland. You could take Oakland. Or you could take Tampa Bay. Yeah, I can see it, Ross. Let me know which team you want. And then we'll get you put in there. Otherwise, I'll be taking those other teams. Let's get these 10 boxes ready to go here for this first one on this glitchy Tuesday, Team Break Tuesday. It's glitchy. It's working. Looks fine on my laptop. It's just glitching out. I can see your comments, Ross. Maybe. Antonio says, it keeps saying air. I can't send a text or that I have to be subscribed. So there's a subscriber error. Let me go ahead and see if I can fix this for you. I'm going to go into the uh, YouTube settings here. And I'm just going to... Usually I make it so that you can only leave a comment if you are a subscriber. It says five minutes. If you've been a subscriber for five minutes, we'll make it open up to anybody. And we'll see if that fixes anything here. Now I turned off subscriber mode, so you should be able to see this now. Maybe that'll work. I don't know what's going on, why YouTube is taking a step back in terms of their capabilities here. Yeah, I can see it now. Now everybody can Now everybody can chat. Here we go. It says there's six people in there, but there's like eight people that just chatted. So the, the counter is broken, I, I believe, but now we're fixed. So I guess I'll just leave that off. So here we go, Bowman Inception, number one. There we go. Now it's all working. Timmy T Time says I'm done. Looks like Timmy T Time wasn't able to post either. Yeah, something was wrong there. I had subscribers on for five minutes, as you saw there, and now it's all opened up. YouTube super glitchy, but now there's a whole bunch of comments coming through. As you can, there's since there's six people in here right now, but there's definitely more than that based off of even the last minute we had like 20 different people chat. But anyway. We'll go ahead and sell those other teams. If you'd like to grab the Cleveland Guardians, we'll do it auction style. If you want the Cleveland Guardians for Bowman Inception, I will auction them off to whoever wants them. And then we'll get this started up. So Bowman Inception, Cleveland Guardians, 10 box break. They're up for grab. It could start off at a dollar. Could go for a buck. Could go for two. Could go for 30, 50, whatever. So we'll go ahead and start that one right now. We're at 15. Chris is at 15 on this. I don't know what's going on with YouTube tonight, but it's being weird. Subscriptions aren't working on YouTube right now, says Caleb. 30 is the high. Yeah, I can't even like I, I can't even like get into my YouTube studio page anymore. It's all jacked up. 40 is the high on this one. I was gonna get a YouTube studio and Trying to see if I could play around with some settings a little bit. But it's just not letting me go. All right, the Cleveland Guardians are going to be sold. And they are going to go to, looks like it's going to be Adam Snitzer. Adam, you know the email address. But there it is again. The copy and paste that. 50 bucks for you. I'll put your name on it. Thank you very much. Thanks, Richard. I appreciate that, man. Adam Snitzer. Next up, we've got another one. We got the Oakland A's. Oakland A's up next. We'll do this. We got one more team after Oakland, then we'll start ripping these. Oakland Athletics. Never mind. Lawrence just flat out bought them. So he just did a buy it now. So I gotta pull them back. Sorry about that. I just saw that payment come through. Lawrence Bourbon has them. And so we got Tampa Bay right now. Tampa Bay is up. And we'll fill this one out. Sorry, Lawrence, I didn't see that the uh, Buy It Now payment came in. So Tampa Bay, last one, then we'll start to rip. And I was watching the Tampa, Bay's and Tampa Bay Rays and the uh, Los Angeles Angels figured out how to screencast. I got an MLB on my phone. I'm always 
looking at the on a little screen. I started screencasting tonight. It was really cool. 20 side on Tampa Bay. And then we'll get to ripping these. Good luck to everybody. Imagine if you didn't upload today's video yet. That would be bad. I know, Ross. I filmed that one early. I uploaded it at like 5. And then we went to the gym. We, uh, Sophia and I had a workout class. So it was already uploaded. Then all I did was after the workout class out in the parking lot, I, uh, I made it live. So thank goodness I got an early start today. All right, this one's going to go to Nick at 40. So Nick, you've got it. There was two 40s, but Nick had the first on the official feed. So Nick, you've got the Tampa Bay Rays. You can send it on over. Let's go ahead and get started here. This one's all sold out. If you want to get into the next round, it's going to be Mixer 5. So Bowman Inception is sold out. Mixer Break 5, which has Bowman Draft Jumbo amongst other boxes, 10 total boxes. That one is down to four spots left. So there's only four spots left. And then Big League 8, we're going we're gonna to force that one as well. So let's go ahead and get this one started. Bowman Inception, a 10-boxer. Here we go. And we're going to give away a Bowman Inception box to one of you guys tonight. These are $210 a piece. These boxes, if you want to grab them, they've gone up in price. When they first came out, I think Tops may have had them for 170 ish And then we saw them go to 199 or 200 on blowout cards. And now we've seen them go up to 210 They just continue to rise. Inception of very popular release. Unfortunately, there's no Wyatt Langford in this product, which kind of stinks. I was hoping that Wyatt Langford would be in here when I got it. But here we go. First box. We've got two autographs per box. The first autograph here is going to be Gabriel Rincones, number to 300. That's for the Philadelphia Phillies, which will be for Robert McGill. And we've got a Christian Vaccaro numbered to 75, Wes Huddleston. He was the big, big name in, what was it, 2022 Bowman Chrome? I, I need to look at his stats and see how he's doing, but that is a nice card right there when he was a big prospect. He was only like 17. And then we've got Brayler Guerrero, Tampa Bay, numbered to 25, just picked up by Nick. So Nick gets that one. Thank you very much. Let's see what else we've got here. Bowman Inception is 170. I think that's the pre-sale price. Right now, I just double-checked. They've lowered the price back down to $200 on a box of these. Yeah, I think that the Topps Inception was... I like Topps Inception better because of all the uh, the case hits in there. I guess... Uh, you know what, Ross? That's a good point. It doesn't make sense why Topps Inception was cheaper than Bowman Inception. Because I feel like Topps Inception, they probably pay more for those players to sign those autos. Here we go. A really nice low-numbered Luis Guanipa numbered to five. For the Atlanta Braves, this one is for John Cashman. So John Cashman with that to five. You want to be Vargas for the Los Angeles Dodgers. That's for the collectible exchange. Alfredo Duno, a nice prospect for the Reds. This one is going to go to Cincinnati, Joseph G. And then there's another Vargas. So another hit right there. Next up, Tim Shea on Patreon just says, where's the link to the live stream? It's literally... Um, Maybe he d doesn't see that it's on YouTube. Let me help out Tim Shea over here. I think Tim may be confused because it's not a Patreon-only live stream. We do those Patreon-only live streams that are private. You can only see them. So we'll help you out. I'm Tim Shea, boom. Just commented back to you. Maybe everyone's waiting over there on Patreon. Here we go. But the next one, Max Muncy starts this one off. Brian Acuna. Here's the first autograph. It's Michael Arroyo for the Seattle Mariners. This one's going to go to Joseph Ruberry. We've got Judd Fabian, number to 300 for the Baltimore Orioles for Robert McGill. And another Christian Vaccaro. This one's number 25 for Wes Huddleston. Robert says, I had to find the live stream via the search bar. None of my subscriptions are showing up. Inception is full. Uh, yep. Collins, it's all filled up. We do have three or four spots left for Mixer 5, which is coming up next. Right after this one. We only have a few more boxes of Inception left. That's me, it, uh, That's me, Jabs. I didn't send anything like that. What? Here, here's what we got here. I'll show it to you. Let me finish this box because I don't want to cover up the cards. 
We have Davison Gutierrez, number to 75. We've got Dernish Valdez. The Gutierrez is for the Mets. Valdez for the Cubs to 200. And Roman Anthony to 99 for the Boston Red Sox. This is what I was talking about here. See, Tim Shea. And then I just responded to it to give him that link. Maybe there's two Tim Shays. I don't know. White Sox Tom says, YouTube is having all kinds of issues tonight. We're just barely able to go tonight, I guess. I guess that's good because Chrome Black, I'm not going to have it until probably tomorrow. I'm hoping tomorrow. It got sent to the wrong store. So it is at a different location. And I'm going to have to go pick it up. I guess, or it's going to get brought to me, I hope, by tomorrow. Next box, we've got Wilbin Francisca. Cleveland Guardians, they were just picked up off the scrap heap by Adam Snitzer. He gets this one. We've got Leonardo Balcazar, number to 50 for the Cincinnati Reds. That's for Joseph Grzeski. And we've got Jan Kiel Fernandez to 75 is the last one. Colorado Rockies with the hit for Dennis O. Oh, how'd I open it today? I got one case for my case guy. He had it shipped to his house. Josh says, YouTube keeps crashing for me. I can't see my subscriptions for over an hour. All the subscriptions are broken. Yep, it's all messed up. But we're still able to go live. So hopefully, you know, people that are missing this one right now, some people don't even, can't even see the link. I guess that's why Tim Shea asked on Patreon. There you have it. There's Axel Sanchez numbered to 50. For the Seattle Mariners, another hit for them for Joseph Ruberry and Anthony Hall for the New York Yankees. That's going to Hunter, number to 399. And then we've got William Bergoya, number to 75. Timmy T. Tom says, I uh, hope I didn't get hacked. I don't think you did. And old Brittle Bones, that's Richard, says, going to hit another George Brett in this. Just kidding, but what is it, like four now this month? What are we at now for George Brett? I know it's at least two. We need to have Pops Dyer. Pops Dyer's live feed going on. He's got up-to-the-minute live tracking data over there. But we'll find out. George Brett, that's a pretty good one. Definitely two this week. Here's the next box. Fat Jack just became a new channel member. Ross says, I might suggest making a post on Patreon. Because there's only 23 people here. I think that counter is broken, too. Let's, let's see. Let's do a little quick poll here. Test. Start, start a poll. Uh, are you watching? Yes or no? That's <laughs> just random. Let's see if we can get over 28 people to vote in this poll. And then we'll be able to... Just testing if it's broken because there might only be 24 people here. There might be 200 people here. I don't know. But take that poll I just posted in the live chat. Usually when I post in the live chat a poll... There might I usually get maybe about a quarter of the people to vote in it, maybe 20%. So to get everybody to vote in the chat, probably not going to happen. We're already at 78 votes. So that is bro that counter is broken. I bet you there's probably there's probably 2 300 people watching right now. It's just that the counter is broken. So if you're like, "Wow, there's only I think it said 3 people in there just a few minutes ago." There's definitely a, a problem. It looks like we have a, just a bunch of uh just People that aren't showing up in the, uh, the the live counter, but we're over 106 votes now. So it is working. If you don't know where that is, that's right there. We're up to 108 votes. It says there's 40 people in here. YouTube is all messed up tonight. Gabriel Gonzalez is the next one. So it's good to know that, you know, you're out there, folks. We got William Lugo, number to 399 for the New York Mets. This one is for Richard. We've got a Brooks Lee. That's the best autograph so far. It's numbered to 25 Brooks Lee for the Minnesota Twins. The collectible exchange gets this one. And Nikal Puaka Grego, number to 50 for the Philadelphia Phillies. Timmy T Time says we should just bag this. It's just it's just the counter that's broken. Hey says, I'll donate $30 if you bend any card. I'm not gonna bend uh, what, like a junk wax card? We're going to have some fun with Junk Wax this summer. It's the Olympics this summer. We're going to do Junk Wax Olympics. We have Henry Chavilli starting this next one off. And Alfredo Duno, Jackson Merrill. Ambiris um, Tavares, Leonardo Balcazar. Another Reds hit there for Cincinnati. That is for Joseph G. Brandon Maia, a nice hit, number to 99. 
and Ethan Salas. So another nice Yankee hit there. A second Yankee for Richard and Ethan Salas. A good hit for the Padres for Hunter. Do I think that there's going to be any Brian Reynolds in this? I don't know. It, uh, Chrome Black had quite a bit of Brian Reynolds today, at least starting it off. I, I was like, are we going to get three Brian Reynolds in one case? The first two boxes today both had Brian Reynolds autographs in there, which I didn't really mind about it. Uh, I mean, Brian Reynolds is a decent player. Kind of was... It would have been, would have been something if it was like Shoya Otani, a couple of his cards in the same box. We've got Nathan Martorella starting this next one off. That one's numbered to 99. And here we go. Here's a nice case hit. The Martorella also another Padres hit along with Ethan Salas. Salas for Hunter. This is a great card. Numbered to 75. Spencer Jones, one of their top notch prospects. The Yankees are coming up. Pretty good here. Hunter with another one. And there's a Hey You Lee numbered to 99. Alright, last box here. Ross says, I got a Brian Reynolds PSA Gold. What? For $15? An all-star? No way. How'd you score that? Did you find that on, like, Whatnot or something? Or what's the deal? We'll be back on Whatnot tomorrow. I'm talking to Whatnot, by the way, and I'm trying to, uh, trying to work out something with them. I'm trying to trying to ask for more money for you guys. I'm trying to get that um, that $10 upped. So we'll see if they can do that or not. $10 is still pretty nice. You just spend their money, but I'd like to get them to up it to $15. we have got Anthony Gutierrez, numbered to 99 for Texas for the collectible exchange in our final box. We've got Adrian Pinto, number 299, for the Toronto Blue Jays for Wesley Long. And the final card of this round is Mikey Romero, number 299. There's Kenny's Cards and More, who's got a channel that he just started about a month ago or so. At least that's when we first made note of him. Came in here, had three subscribers. He's over 100 now. He comes in and says, thanks, Jabs, for persevering. Can I get a shout-out? Getting close to doing another giveaway. Definitely, if you haven't checked his channel out yet. I was watching one of your videos. You were super frustrated because you couldn't go live. So, yeah, I, I definitely understand. He's like, here's a stupid short or something because I can't go live. It was actually pretty funny. Uh, I could definitely hear your frustration in there. But if you want to go and check his channel out, he's got a new card channel. And he's doing another giveaway. So... There's the link to his channel. I put it right there if you'd like to go and check it out. All right, so that one's in the books. He's up to 114 subscribers right now. Let's go ahead now and move to the next round. We're going to go to Mixer number five. If you want to get into Mixer five, there's only a few spots left. And this one has Bowman Draft Jumbo. So we're going after Wyatt Langford and Tom Brady autographs in this, along with several other boxes. It's a grand total of... I think it's 10 boxes in there. We'll go ahead and randomize these spots. I'll take the extra spots. But before we do, Dan Schultz just sent in for a spot. There's three spots left in that round. If you want to grab one, you can. Otherwise, I'll take the rest. If I get a team I like, I'll keep it. I might auction off a team or two. Let's go ahead and introduce the boxes while you decide if you want to grab a spot in this. And don't let me leave before I give away one of those free Bowman Inception boxes tonight. All right, so here we go. We've got gold label in this. Here's all the boxes. Gold label. It is a 2020 gold label in this one. We've got a hobby box of the brand new 20... Well not, I guess it's not brand new anymore, right? But sort of newish. Series 1. We've got a mega of Bowman 2023. We toss in some lower end boxes from time to time, like Stadium Club Chrome. It's a blaster box. We've got a Bowman blaster box in there. We've got a Breakers Delight box in there from Chrome. Here's the here's the uh, main box. It is Bowman Draft Jumbo, which is up to seven fifty at last check. There's a blaster of Series One in there as well. Tops Chrome box right there from 2023. And we've got a signature series box. All together, there's 10 boxes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's four there. There's six there. 
So those are all the boxes in play here. We'll go ahead and start ripping these first. Let's go ahead and randomize the spots. Like I said, I'll take the leftover spots so we can run this. Typically what happens when a break doesn't completely sell out, we'll let it run another week or two. And sometimes when it gets uh, two or three weeks, I'll just be like, all right, we're just gonna run this. I'm not gonna make you wait any longer. And I'll take all the extra spots if need be. So let's go ahead. Thomas L says, I would like to buy in Thomas L. He just sent me an email. We're going to, if you want to grab a spot, just let us know in the chat right now. And we can let you in. Otherwise, I'll just uh, I'll just go ahead and take the rest of the spots for myself. Jason says, I sent 144 Inception, but you, you can put me in any break that you want. Jason Sawyer. I, I got it, didn't I? Yeah, you're in there. You're right there. Jason Sawyer. Two spots right there. You had the Houston Astros. And you also have the St. Louis Cardinals. So, yeah, we got you in there. So, Richard, we just got your payment. We'll put you in. I'm Thomas, Fat Jack. Richard Warren just sent in. There's two spots left. Chad is back to work and now Joshua Linebarger sent one. There's one spot left. Joshua Linebarger. So put Joshua in there as well. And we're down to just one spot left. And I, I think Thomas said that he wanted it, but Robert grabbed it. It's sold out. So if you're in the midst of filling out a form to sell or send in, it's too late. We're all sold out. Robert got the last spot. Robert McGill. Let's go ahead and hit the randomize button here and get this going. So that was the results from the last break. Let's get a brand new list. List randomizer. Here's all of the names. Take all these names. We'll copy them. We're doing Big League as well tonight. So if you want to get into a break tonight, it's definitely going. Big League is guaranteed to go. I'll take the last 10 spots if need be. There's all the names. And... We will randomize these, and here we go. Robert will have the Arizona Diamondbacks. Dennis will have the Washington Nationals, and here's everybody else in Mixer 5. Pat Jack says, how do you pay for these? Sorry, just joined Patreon. Through PayPal. All the directions will are on Patreon at the bottom of each posting. We've got Robert right there. We've got the Collectible Exchange. He's got the Atlanta Braves. And Forcer Torres has the Baltimore Orioles. Dan Schultz with Boston. Michael Collins has the Cubbies. Travis Williams has the Cincinnati Reds. Robert has the Cleveland Guardians. Carlos has Colorado. Brian Jackson with the White Sox. Jeff Robertshaw has Detroit. The Collectible Exchange has Houston. Brian Jackson with Kansas City. Antonio B's got the Angels. Robert has the Dodgers. Joshua L has the Miami Marlins. Matt Durfee has the Milwaukee Brewers. Blank username has Minnesota. Joseph Ruberry has the Mets. Robert Lee has the Yankees. Jeffrey has Oakland. Chris, I just got your payment for Big League 8. Thank you very much. Ball card ripping. has got the Phillies. Cars Russ has the Pirates. Chris has the San Diego Padres. Drew has Seattle. Jeff Robert Shaw has San Fran. Juan Solis has St. Louis. Chris Dasgupta has Tampa Bay. Richard Warden has Texas. Wesley Toronto and Dennis O with the Washington Nationals. Zero says, do you have to join Patreon to get in? Yeah, breaks are for Patreon members only, unless I force it to go. Like if I open it up to anybody, like let's say that I sold it for two or three weeks on Patreon, it's not filled yet. Then I'll just take the rest of the spots and then I'll just auction spots off, which we just did for that first break we did. There was three spots left. So it's, it, it's kind of rare, but it does happen from time to time. But if you want to get a guaranteed spot, you're going to be in Patreon. So here we go, Mixer 5. Let's do it. We'll start off with some of the smaller end boxes. Let's do this one first. It's a Topps Chrome box right here. Hey, Patriot. Topps Chrome. These were $40 a box. Larry says, do you mail product to Canada? I do not. Larry Hernshaw. By the way... I sent you a request. You owe me ten bucks. <laughs> That's uh, you're. I guess you're the same person. I sent you a request because your cards that you won in the auction 
cost me $14.53 to ship to you. I still ship them, but I sent you a request for the remainder. So if you want to take care of that, that'd be great. That's my brother. Okay, can you let him know that he owes me 10 bucks? But yeah, if you want to pay, typically it's like, I think it's fourteen fifty three to ship a like a first class package there. If it's a little heavier, if there's more cards in there, then it's going to be a little more. But yeah, his package uh, is en route. I I picked the fastest um, fastest option too. It should be there in five days. Let's see what else we've got in here. Joey Altman right there, or James Altman. William Contreras. All the prices are on Patreon for Big League. There's Joe Lawrence's Inception has such good-looking cards. Does it mean, or does it seem like 2024 Tops doesn't have much value? The best card I ever got was the Golden Mirror uh, ERA Leaders. Comps was like 90 bucks. Huh. Let's see. I, 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 don't, yeah, I don't know. The base cards definitely don't have much value because they're printed so much. There's a nice Spencer Steer. Like, base paper. Ellie De La Cruz, that's selling now for a few dollars at most at a card show. You got to really hope that you get like a top notch rookie auto parallel or like a rookie parallel low number, like an Ellie Mother's Day or Independence Day or something like that. That's where your money's going to fall. We'll see if we can get one tonight. It's Ramon Laureano right there. So, no hits in the first one here, the first box. I'm getting a little bit of chrome in here. YouTube's having major issues tonight. Yeah, for a while there, we started this, Justin, after like 20 minutes and said there was three people in the chat. And I was like, there's no way. And then I did a poll to, to see, and there was like over 100 people that voted in the poll. So it's, it's all messed up. People weren't able to chat. So I, I usually have a restriction on that you have to be a subscriber to chat. I took that off, and that unlocked it for people. Even people that are subscribed weren't able to chat. Like, people that have been around for many, many years weren't able to chat. Here's Bowman Blasters. I just put in an order for 10 cases of Bowman Blasters today. And I think these are going to be 30 bucks. I think they're 30 bucks on Fanatics per blaster. I think they're 35 at Walmart. I don't know. We'll see. I, I think last year... If you bought a lot of Bowman last year, you'll remember. Weren't they 30 at Target? I don't buy a lot at Target because my Target kind of sucks. But here we go. Adley Rushman, rookie card for the Orioles. And Corbin Carroll, rookie card. They're always back-to-back -back in any Bowman release. At least 2023. Nick says, I like the design this year for Bowman. I haven't seen it yet. Patriot says, I've been here about whatnot. I think you have some discount the first use. What's whatnot in a, a nutshell? Shell, anything I don't know about. Basically, it's like eBay. Except it's all live streams. I've been doing these YouTube auctions for a few years now where I show a card and then I auction off. Well, whatnot just basically does that. It's basically just like my YouTube auctions except on a different platform. And it just has like uh, auto pay. So it just automatically, like when I win something on whatnot, it automatically just comes right off my credit card like that. Like I don't have, I don't even have to do anything. I won a couple boxes a couple weeks ago. I still haven't received them yet. Hopefully those come in soon. We've got a purple right here, Michael Harris. Jose Abreu, number 223. Jordan Walker right there. Logan O'Hoppy, and we'll see what else. Hey, we've got an autograph in a blaster box. It's Manuel Beltre for the Toronto Blue Jays. So the first autograph of this one goes to Wesley Long. Wesley, congratulations, and Ron has come through with his Canadian shipping. Thank you very much, man. Yeah, it literally costs fourteen fifty three to send that package to you, so I'm just, just trying to... With shipping, I always try to just break even on it. I will never overcharge anybody for shipping. You know, there's auctions. A lot of those auctions, I always charge $4 for them. And most of the time, they end up being like 5 or $6, especially from the like West Coast... Here we go with this next one. That makes it, yeah, that view counter is going up a little bit now. Let's do. Let's get all the blasters out of the way first before we get into the better boxes. Here's a series one box. I haven't seen any series one on the shelves at Walmart in a while. What's the name of the Bowman draft box? It has like five packs, and each pack has an autograph in it. Bowman Sterling DD is what you're thinking of. It's like I call it pizza box. 
Bowman Sterling is what you're thinking of. Alrighty, here we go with this blaster box. We'll have some of those spring parallels. Thoughts on Angel Hernandez. I think he's lightning rod and the face, the poster boy of Robo Umpires. Like most people aren't going to be going to be opposed to Robo Umpires anymore because of Angel Hernandez. There's Quinn Priester. We got the bunnies. Quinn Priester to start things off. Yeah, I went back and I watched the uh, Wyatt Langford at bat where there was three consecutive balls and each one was farther off the plate than the last. Awful. It's just, he doesn't uh, have a clue. There's Jason Dominguez, Christian Encarnacion Strand. Yep, um, that's the way unions work. They'll, they'll, You could be the worst worker and you'll be safe. Well, they they got they protect everybody. There is Reese Olson. He makes everybody else look better, says Casey. Yeah, Joe West was Joe West liked to do the whole ump show thing. Upside down Marco Luciano right there. It's a black border. Nice. Number to two ninety nine. Getting a numbered card there, nineteen eighty nine. Mauricio Dubon Royal Blue. Pirates are losing three to one. Last time I checked, when right before we went live, we'll have to see uh, if they caught up or not. Pirates starting to kind of fold up shop a little bit here on us. Need to get things going again. What else do we have here? We've got a mega box of Bowman in this one. Good old mega box of 2023 Bowman. These were what fifty dollars a box or something like that. Let's see what we've got. We've got the quote-unquote cold packs here that we'll get started with. Then we've got the mojo packs up there. Chris says, Pirates doing Pirates. They lost 3-1, to one, says Zero. That stinks. I guess we ran into the Mets at the wrong time. Actually says that Joe DiMaggio booklet was awesome. Yeah, that was pulled April 9th, I think. I'm trying to get back to doing shorts. I just totally just got out of it. And uh, I just need to start getting back in the swing of thing with doing shorts again. It's Mike Trout. Saw him bat tonight with the bases loaded. A little weak flare to second base. I was all excited. I was like, here comes a grand slam. But no. But he's off to a great start. Seven home runs already, I think, for Trouty. Spencer Jones first is a great card. Got to do the shorts for the algorithm, says Axie. That's right. I started doing the shorts again and see how it goes. Nick says, I think YouTube said no shorts, no live stream. I actually put the short up before I started the live stream. I was like, I got to get a short up today. And then I looked at the little pieces of paper and I was like, all right, we'll just do this. DiMaggio is pretty sweet. Let's do this. Here's another auto from a retail box. It's a mega box. It's Yvonne Melendez. Goes to Robert McGill, Arizona Diamondbacks. Congratulations on that one in the Mojo Pack. And Jesus Bias, it's Signature Series. Warden says, I hate shorts. Yeah, some people hate shorts. I kind of use them a lot of times. Just to, Sometimes these live streams can be two, three, four hours long. Sometimes, you know, you're not going to have enough time to sit there for four hours. I might do some highlights here and there for you, like I did with the Joe DiMaggio tonight, if you missed that one from last Tuesday. Here we go. This is the Signature Series Retired Player Box, and it is going to have a Hall of Famer for the San Francisco Giants. It's Juan Marichal. It's going to go to Jeff Robertshaw. I love the Signature Series Retired Player Boxes so much. They're, I think they're great. Hall of Famer Juan Marichal. Very, very nice. Always like Hall of Fame autos, especially from like a $70 box like that. Stadium Club up next. We got Big League coming up after this. Any thoughts on the return on investment of archives? Seems just for some reason I love opening them, but I'm not sure if I've seen much return. Typically, your average box is going to give you maybe five to ten bucks of return. Like you get a Jesse Winker auto or something like that. 
that's just not going to have the money there. I would say, if I'm being honest with you, probably 80% or maybe even more signature series boxes, the active player ones are probably going to be a negative return on the investment unless you get one of those big case hits like an Acuna Jr. or Otani or something like that. All right, here is Stadium Club Chrome. I don't think we're going to get Stadium Club Chrome for 2023. This is the 2022 version. I think there's an X Factor in every pack. Alec Manoa right there. Buster Posey trophy card. Another X Factor, Key Brian Hayes. Yes, Monty Grandal. Yeah, I think that uh, you're right, Chris. You don't want to rip if you're looking to make money, for sure. You just want to rip just because you love baseball cards. It's not like the back in the day. I was thinking about this the other day. Back when I was 9, 1989, I was thinking, what percent return did the average pack give you back? I felt like the average pack gave you 100% return. Remember that? Like, you'd buy a pack of 89 tops... And even if they're all commons worth five cents, you still had at least like 50 cents worth of cards there, right? Because people just went by that Beckett book. Like if it was listed in Beckett, that was the price. So there's like 15 cards per pack. So you're getting 50, 75 cents high price at the very worst if you get all commons. And usually you'd pull a couple 50 cent cards out of there. Imagine if that was the case today. Where, like, uh, you bought a, um, a box of, say, this. This is, what, $90, $95 a box now? And pretty much every time you're getting $90 worth of cards out of there. I mean, that would be awesome. But that's not always the case. Because I guess what has happened now... Like, why isn't it like that anymore? I was thinking about that. Like, why? Why is, can't it be like that anymore? I guess it's because the the ceiling has gone so high up. Like, back in 1989, what was the ceiling? On like 89 tops, for example, like Greg Jeffries' future star card was worth what, like five bucks when it first came out? That was your ceiling. But now the ceiling is like you get an Ellie De La Cruz, like one of one rookie auto, you're looking at $10,000. So I think that's probably why it's kind of just skewed everything. I don't know. Let's go ahead and see what we have in here. But those were the good old days where you got 100% return on your investment. Looks like now we're having some gremlins in the system. Now it's now YouTube's trying to kick me out. I got the reconnect button a couple times. But now it's going. I stopped collecting for a good 15 years or so. 15 to 20 years. White Sox Tom says we're frozen, but I'm also watching the live stream on a separate device, and it's going for me. So White Sox Tom, just hit that refresh button, and you should be fine. Yeah, it did freeze for a second, but... What happened was the screen just grayed out and it said reconnect, and I clicked the reconnect button immediately to bring it back. Just uh, there's YouTube is not having a very uh, very good night tonight. It's working for Adam over there. That's good. Good to hear that. Here we go with the hobby box of series one. There's our autograph, Brandon Woodruff from the Milwaukee Brewers. He's out for the year. It's a nice card, though. It's going to go to Matt Durfee. So the Durfinator gets this one. YouTube's being hacked. I hope it's not, like, under a cyber attack. That would kind of stink. Jab starts exposing the flaws in the card industry and the stream struggles. The Fanatics own YouTube. I don't think so. It was just, you know, some just deep thoughts about pricing and everything. Just because, you know, most of the time... You do come up short of the buy-in, but there is that super high ceiling with these uh, certain cards in these releases. That probably, you know, people always complain that kids aren't into the hobby anymore for whatever reason. That's probably another reason why kids aren't into the hobby anymore because, I don't know, they might, they might even if they do start buying a couple boxes, they're like, I'm not getting anything in these. And they're not seeing the return. When I first got in the cards, I uh, I really was uh, really all about the prices. Like, I'm super stoked whenever I got... Like, I loved getting Pirates cards as a kid, but I also was really happy when I got a valuable card. And yeah, prices is another thing, because what kid has $25 for a blaster box? 
back in 89, $25 went a long way when it came to cards. You could buy like 50 packs. Nowadays, if you went into a store and you bought 50 hobby packs, that'd be 250 bucks. I used to get paid weekly from cutting grass. I'd probably make like $20 a week cutting grass. And then always would get money on holidays and birthdays from my grandma. And man, she would give us 50 bucks. That was big money back then. $50. That was, uh, we used to go and spend all that on cards. DC says kids aren't into hobby because shops want $25 for a pack of Bowman draft. Man, what hobby shop is that? Because I want to go there. Pack of Bowman draft for $25. They're a bit more than that. They're probably more like, we're talking like over 50 a pack, maybe 60 or 70. A box of those, Bowman Draft, Jumbos is 750 for 12 packs now. They just keep going up, up and up, because Wyatt Langford is Jordan Westberg. He's in the big leagues now. Let's see what else. We got the autograph out of here. And it was lucky that we got an autograph and not a relic. Uh, Chris says, that said, I had a blast ripping 2024 Heritage. I pulled a Henry Davis auto, and it, man, you're having much better luck than I. Patrick Gregory just bought Bowman's Best. I think I might force Bowman's Best tomorrow along with Chrome Black. By forcing, I mean I'll make it run. I'll take all the rest of the spots. Because I think that one's been filling now for a couple weeks. There's Andy Rodriguez. Got a couple of these off a of kid in class today. I gave him three big boxes filled with 2024 tops. There's Ellie. And he's like, you want any? And I was like, yeah, I'll take Andy Rodriguez. And he pulled three of them out. They were, uh, there were leftover boxes from an auction. The Hawks sent a bunch of just, uh, just base cards in and just said, give them away. So I just took them into school and I've been slowly giving them away. There's Chas McCormick. That's numbered to 199 for the Astros. And we've got a National League gold card. Marlins card right there. For the Marlins team. Let's get into the next box. Chris says, I was thinking of you, Jabs. Ripped one box, got an auto, so I'm retiring from those ahead of the game. Hey, that's not a bad idea, I guess. Here we go with this next one. I guess the way to go if you're a kid is just buy, I don't know, just buy singles or go to a card show and try to find a nice product. Like Those stay classy packs probably have the best value. That's too bad that they're, it's not like a major company. Like three, you got the three bros in a card store. Too bad that, you know, stay classy doesn't have that. Fix says, who won in the basketball game? We didn't play basketball today. We actually, we went to a fitness class. And we did a fitness class for an hour, and then we were a little too tired, so we went to Walmart. We bought some fruit, did a little shopping. Sophia cut up a watermelon. Yeah, we'll get that silver pack here in a second. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do a, um, some pickup because Sophia wants to play collegiate basketball, and I'm like, wait a minute. we got to get some, some a little more practice here. There's Shintaro Fujinama, numbered to 99. Owen Miller... Number to 399, Carlos Rodon. That is a short print photo variation right there. Stay classy is great. Yeah, I every it, it's usually the average is probably 1.5 to 2x. There's Edward Julian. We've got Ben Joyce. This one is gonna be numbered to 199 for the Angels. Braden Shoemake refractor, numbered to 499. And then we've got some refractors at the very end. Good old Chrome Breakers Delight. Done. Next up, we've got Gold Label. Then we've got the big Bowman Draft. Let's do this one. It is the Silver Pack. We already got one auto from this box of tops. Maybe it will give us another. There's Cuts. Just hit his 300th home run. Which I was a little offended. He's like, I wouldn't have wanted to hit my 300th home run anywhere else but in Philadelphia. I'm like, all right. You played what? Like... Two years there? Two and a half years? Come on. PNC is home. Lakiva says, I love when Jabs gets a crappy mystery pack. You can tell when he wants to throw it in the trash. <laughs> oh, man. If only you could see a behind-the-scenes camera. 
Sometimes when it's absolute trash, maybe like it goes like this, and there's a garbage can right next to me. I can't confirm or deny that it gets dropped right in there or not. But some of those junk wax mystery packs that get sent this way every now and then, let's just say you never see those junk wax cards show up anywhere else ever again. I'm like, yeah, so, uh, it's sometimes it's tough because I don't want to be mean and I don't want to be like, this product is terrible. I try to be constructive and be like, you know, I wouldn't include junk wax in there because, you know, nobody really cares for that. You can't charge like $25 and throw like 1991 scorecards in there. This is a very thick card right here. That's going to be the gold label, gold framed autograph. Let's see what we've got. There's Tatis. Can you believe you can get his PSA 10 rookie card now for like 15 bucks or something like that? It's crazy. There's Tatis again, number to 150. It almost makes you want to buy it because I bought a bunch of those back in the day for like 200 to 250. Luis Robert right there. Makes you also wonder if that card's ever going to go up again. Basically, we need... You need him to come back and start hitting 50 dingers a year. There's Acuna. Speaking of dingers, Ronald Acuna Jr. has zero home runs on the season right now. Batting average is okay. I think he was hitting 284 last time I checked. Seven steals just has not been able to barrel the ball up yet. And here comes the autograph. It is going to be a Sean Murphy rookie auto. Very nice. The Braves catcher now. Sean Murphy... This is going to go to the Oakland A's. Oakland is going to Jeffrey G. So Jeffrey has this one. Congratulations on that one. And now it's time for a little bit of Bowman Draft Jumbo. Let's see if we can go after the Wyatt Langford. Tom Brady. Here we go. Yeah, gold label. I miss it. It was a nice product. They got rid of some nice products for sure. Like, why do they have to go and get rid of Gold Label? And there's Wyatt Langford right there, his base card. We'll sleeve it. Texas is owned by Richard. By the way, if we pull Tom Brady, it goes to Oakland. Wait, no, it doesn't go to Oakland. It goes to Washington. What am I talking about? It's not a weirdo card. Typically, non sports cards would go to Oakland, but he would go to Washington because. That's where the Expos moved to. Here's a hit for the Blue Jays again. Landon. Marduis. Triple threads. Well, yeah, that was a terrible decision. That, I feel like that product made them so much money, too. Like, those boxes were four to $500 a piece. Why did they get rid of it? I, I have no... Cole showing wetter to $4.99. Did they put too much effort into the top's inception for 2023, and that's where a lot of the good autos and relics went instead of triple threads. I don't know. Ross says, of all the mystery packs people send, what percent would I consider buying? If it's good, I don't, I, I don't know what percent are good, what percent are bad. Everybody has different likes, so there's definitely some I wouldn't buy, and there's some that I definitely would buy. There's Hayden Hood, or Wyatt Hoodenpool. This is going to be a wave refractor. Still haven't hidden much out of here. Sometimes there's some good ones. I like the ones that have decent rookies in there. There's a Lunar Cole Kerrig. I might be getting some more State Classy packs this week, and there's a card show in town, so I have to go and check that out. Jackson Holiday's on the back of this next one. Anyone else buy his Tops Now rookie card for his debut? I picked up a few of those. There's Heyo Lee, Travis Honeyman, neither is numbered, and there's Jackson Holiday Refractor. We got big league coming up next. We're gonna force it to go, and I think there's nine spots left in it. So if you want to grab a spot in big league, that's coming up next. 
pretty sure Fanatics has a lengthy contract with Tops now. I can't remember what it is. Cold Emerson, that is a fantastic autograph right there. Cold Emerson, top-notch prospect. It is numbered to 75. So a first-round pick right there. That's the best hit of this box by far. It's going to go to the Seattle Mariners, which is Drew Baker. Drew, I think you're a West Coast guy, so this might be right up your alley. Cold Emerson, numbered to 75. That's probably going to be worth at least a couple hundred bucks, I would imagine. Top-notch prospect, numbered first Bowman Auto. That's a big hit. I think we've got we got one more autograph left. Let's find it and then get into big league. Probably the last break of big league that we'll do in a team break style. Might see some popping up in mixers here and there. Yeah, that Cole Emerson is a good one. There he is again, first round pick. Yeah, Fanatics owns Tops, and I think they have the MLB rights for a while now. Because I think I, don't know, I think they just won those not too long ago from Panini. That's why Panini no longer started putting active players in as of 2023. So I think this might be like year two that they have all the rights to basically everything. Bryce Eldridge, first rounder. There's Matt Shaw. Seth Keener, I think, is the last autograph. Chicago White Sox. Brian Jackson gets that one. I would like to find a Paul Skeens. Autograph. There's a Paul Skeens refractor. He should be up for the Pirates before too long because he's been dominating in AAA. I saw Marco Gonzalez went on the injured list, so I'm thinking, is this going to open the window? Once the Pirates starters start hitting the injured list... Might start to see the opportunity for Skeens to come up. There's a Matt Shaw Bowman glass. The mix says, you asked before about Panini. I don't think they're going to print any more Don Russ because they don't have rights to the active players. They gave it a try last year, and I guess it didn't work out for them. I don't understand why those boxes were so expensive on the secondary market. There's Nason Zanatella, number 250 for the Red Sox. White Sox Tom says the Sox are 2-14 and 14, got to shut out six times so far. Yeah, that, uh, that Colt Emerson fantastic card right there. I think it's probably worth a couple hundred bucks at the very least. $1,000 card and a PSA 10. Right out of the pack. So we would hope that it would get to, get to a 10, 9 or 10. We'll see. Last pack of this round, and then it's big league time. Michael Carrico is a sky blue. And Roderick Arias is the last one. Yeah, Leaf has a new product out, by the way. And um, I ordered a Leaf, Leaf Livid or something like that. Vivid, I guess. I ordered a case of it like a couple weeks ago, and I never received it. I'm going to have to figure out what's going on with that. Clean this one up and get into some big league now coming up. Ten boxes of big league. If you'd like to grab a box, you can do it now and we'll get you in. I'll let you know how many spots are left. And then we'll randomize the spots and I'll take whatever's left over so that we can make this one go. And then we'll also give away a Bowman Inception box tonight. Here's the 10 boxes. There's one, two, three. Let's take them all out. Four. I'll just take five out. I've got the other five in the box. So we have, looks like a few payments that have come in here. Chris Randall has paid for a spot in this one. Chris will put you at spot number 21. Ron paid his additional shipping. Thomas Lay paid for a spot in Topps Mixer 1. I don't think that one's going to go tonight, but we'll eventually force that one to go if it's not sold out. Patrick Gregory grabbed a spot in Chrome Black, which will hopefully be tomorrow. He also grabbed one in Bowman's Best 9. If I get if I get Chrome Black tomorrow, I'm going to force Bowman's Best to go as well because that one's been on the uh, kind of stalled out for a little while. And but That's a good break. Those boxes keep going up. 
And Patrick Gregory, we got your, your spots for Big League 8, two of them. So there's maybe seven spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll take the rest of them. If anybody else wants a spot, let me know right now in Big League 8. Ten boxes. Probably, I would guess, five autos here. Russ says, if we don't find at least five autos, I'm guessing it's usually one in every two. So if you want a spot, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to run the randomizer and I'll take the rest of the spots. Last chance to get a random team spot and then maybe get the Oakland A's, which would be a good one because you get all the... Uh, I think we should... Actually, you know what? If we do find an influencer card, we will ram that off to amongst all 30. By the way, the influencer cards are way down in price now. They're going for about $20 a piece. So they've come down a bit. Just with the uh, all this supply and demand and all that stuff, there's a bunch that have flooded the market. Dennis just grabbed one. So Dennis, you made it in before the randomizer. Thank you very much. You're in. All right, let's go ahead and randomize these. We'll bring back the list randomizer. That's the randomizer from the last break. Get a new one here. List randomizer. Here's all the teams. The ones that are open, I'm taking. Uh, Thomas just grabbed one, so Thomas made it in. Thomas Lay. So five spots left. So Thomas added your name just in the nick of time. It's right there. You're on the, the master list. All right, so here's all of these names. Looks like there's five spots that I will grab up. And then I'll decide if I want to keep it or if I want to sell it off. Here we go. Randomize it. Here they are. This computer, by the way, is absolutely terrible. You can hear the uh, the fan whizzing away in the background. $1,000 was already found. We can take that away. Chris Randall got that. All right, we have, this is Big League 8. We got Patrick Gregory with Arizona. We've got Wes with Atlanta. We've got Thomas with Baltimore. Michael Hatch, you guys, Boston. We've got Chris with this Cubs. Hey, you got the Cubs, Chris. That's your team. Very nice. Get an air compressor on the fan. I like drive to work. I've got like an hour commute. I have my computer all charged. It just does this the whole way to work. And then by, by the time I get to work, my computer's like dead. This has to be plugged in all the time. I hate this computer. Dennis has the Cincinnati Reds. Antonio's got the Cleveland Guardians. Michael has the Rockies. Antonio's got the White Sox. Detroit and Houston are open. Michael has Kansas City and the Angels. Antonio has the Dodgers. Ralph has Miami. Robert has Milwaukee. Then we've got the Mets going to Joseph. We've got Antonio getting the Yankees. The Oakland A's are open. Enforcer Torres has Philadelphia. Antonio's got Pittsburgh. Dan Schultz has San Diego. Tiffany has Seattle. San Francisco Giants are open. Wesley Long has St. Louis. Michael Michigan has Tampa Bay. Patrick Gregory has Texas. Toronto's open, and Tiffany gets the Washington Nationals. All right, so those teams that are open, I will auction some of those off. If you like the Detroit Tigers right now, I'm going to auction them off to anybody that wants them. 37 seconds, Detroit Tigers. You get every single Tigers card from those 10 boxes. We'll do this one tonight, and then these are the ones I'm forcing tonight. The other ones aren't close to being sold out. We are auctioning off the Tigers right now. You could get them for a dollar if no one else bids. Chris opens it up at a dollar. Hopefully you get a couple autographs, whoever gets it. Nate's at five. Chris is at six. And we will go ahead and clear this one off. Kind of tough to see, I guess, because I don't have the... The bow, the uh, Bowman packs in there to prop it up. Looks like this first one's going to go to Ross. Is going to grab him at sixteen. So Ross, you got the Detroit Tigers are yours. Your name's on them. Houston. When Houston comes up, could you apply the subscribers again? Mix. 
I think he wants me to make sure he gets the Houston Astros. He'd be the only one bidding. Houston Astros, they're up next. Let's auction them off in big league, 10 boxes. I'm trying to think if I should keep Oakland because what do they got? They got this. You'll get all the become a big league year cards. LLW says, I was thinking about making a website or a way to sell the wiffle ball cards, cards I sent you yesterday. I want to know if you think I should. Sell the wiffle ball cards? Maybe. You could, like, make autographs, put them in there. Five is the high on this one. Josh is at nine. He's in the lead. Ross is paid. Thanks, Ross. Houston Astros in the books. And this one is going to go to Josh. It looks like at 20 bucks. So Josh has the Astros. Josh Line Barger takes them. Next up, we've got the Oakland A's. Any weirdo cards, non baseball players like those become a big leaguer contest cards will go to Oakland. And any other non sports cards minus the influencer cards. Those get random off. So Oakland's up next. All the cards from 10 boxes. To change this trash tonight. So pretty much overflowing. We're at 7 out of 10 on this. 10's the high. 15 is the high. Hopefully you get a couple autographs. Like I said, we should have hopefully have about five autographs out of this round on average. All right, and we've got the Oakland A's are gonna go to it looks like Juanito is gonna have it. Or is it or is it Dennis? Lots of bids came in there. Dennis O has it at 23. So Dennis Octorbeck has them at 23. Dennis, you can send over payment right now. Thank you very much. Next up is San Francisco. We'll run them real quick. They start off at a buck. All the Giants cards in this round. I was hoping to get either the Pirates, the Reds, or the Yankees were the teams that I wanted with those open spots. Chris is at two bucks. Antonio B's got the Yankees. Dennis O's got the Reds. Antonio's got the Pirates. Antonio with a couple good teams. Josh is paid. Dennis is paid. 11 is the high on San Francisco right now. All right, this one's sold, and we just got one more team left to auction off to get it filled up. This one's going to go to, it looks like, Antonio at 18. So, Antonio, you've got the San Francisco Giants, and then the last team that I got was Toronto. We'll auction them off right now. Start the clock on this. Let me go ahead and run this one. Toronto Blue Jays. Last one, then we'll start ripping these open. We're 15. Brett's in the lead, 15 on Toronto. Davis Schneider, potential rookie auto, maybe. We're at 17. Last one before we rip them. Antonio's paid. Thank you very much. All right, let's see who's got Toronto. Looks like the Toronto Blue Jays are going to go to, is it Patrick? Patrick Gregory, you've got the Blue Jays as well. So you also have Texas right above them, I see. I think you got another one in there somewhere. So Patrick, you can go ahead and pay right now. Actually, it was Josiah at 27. Yeah, Josiah, never mind. Josiah had him at 27. I totally missed that one. The mix with another save. Josiah Ewing, 27. It's yours. Wait a minute. He says I meant 17. Never mind. It actually was Patrick. So, Patrick, you do have them. So, Patrick, you can send over payment right now. Here we go. Let's rip these open. Probably the last one of the night. Patrick has paid for Toronto. Thanks, Patrick. 
We'll come back tomorrow. I'm hoping to have all the chrome black in. I only got one case in today. I wanted to do that one and show you guys what chrome black's all about. Last year, chrome black, I gave an F. This year, it's it's a little bit better. Some nice Hall of Fame autos in there. KC was open. Kansas City was Michael Michigan in this round. Nope. See what we can do with stack number one. Looking for an autograph. Looking for a legendary gold foil or a rare red foil. There's Alex Bregman. He's going to be a free agent. I think he's ranked as the number three free agent next year. Number one next year is Juan Soto. The number two free agent next year will be Corbin Burns. And number three, Alex Bregman. It's pretty much Juan Soto than everybody else. Of course, you might have some guys opt out of their deals, like Cody Bellinger or Blake Snell could opt out and hit the market again. I think maybe Matt Chapman also has that opt-out built in. Everybody's all paid up. Yep, we're good to go. We are running this one. There's Marcus Stroman. Josiah pulled a Jordan Walker orange auto out of big league. Very nice. And Mix, I'm predicting five. I'm going to go with five. That's just usually what the odds are one every other box. Noah says this tiered checklist that Big League has is definitely interesting. Yep, the base cards. Easy to complete that. The blue's a little tougher. The red's really tough. The gold, super, super tough. Aloy Jimenez and Moncada are probably gone next year says white Sox. tom do they have options on them they have both been very disappointing when caught had that one good year a few years ago for you he was helped by a really high average on his babip batting average on balls in play jimenez has been a huge disappointment and here we go we've got one already it is bryce miller for seattle that's for tiffany jordan there's one autograph Ross wants to trade you the Tigers for the Giants. I'll allow that. It's just a couple keystrokes. If you want to do that, you both have to agree to it. And it has to be verified by the mix, who basically is the commissioner around here on all, you know, stuff like that. Because he's got to watch out for both people to come to an agreement. So we got an autograph. Here's Josh Young. There's Mookie Betts. And to the moon, Bobby Witt. So box one out of tens in the books. We've got one auto on the board already. And Tony says, I am a Giants fan, Ross. So it has been denied. Yeah, if you ever want to do a trade, just if uh, if you come to an agreement in the chat together and the mix, can, like, uh, the mix approves the trade... We can let it go, and I'll like all I'll, I'll, I'll have to do is just click some buttons, copy paste. It's really not that hard for me to, to do over on my end, but I can't really watch out for that stuff because I'm too busy ripping cards to make sure I don't miss anything. So that's that's why it's gotta go through the mix. It says I wish I had a denied stamp. Well, that might work out. Like, for example, Chris has the Cubs right now, but let's say if he was in another team break, let's say tomorrow he gets in Bowman's best and he ends up with, like, I don't know, like the Cardinals, and he hates the Cardinals because Cubs and Cardinals, they just don't get along. And Dan Schultz gets the Cubs. Those two could definitely work out a trade because Dan likes the Cards. Chris likes the Cubs. Sometimes it'll be perfect fits like that. Jason Dominguez right there. And another one. Wow. Two for two. James Altman. I thought five autos. We're on pace for ten. James Altman, blue auto. This is going to Los Angeles. Dodgers Antonio B with the James Altman autograph right there. Congratulations. Maybe we've got a hot case here. Kodai Senga threw a bullpen session today, so that's good news for the Mets. Maybe he'll be back sooner rather than later. Mix called six. That's looking pretty good right now. Let's 
Sal Freelich, who's really becoming a decent player. He hits like third for the Brewers. If you haven't picked up some Sal Freelich cards yet, might want to do that before they get a little pricier. Especially because he might end up being an all-star this year. We shall see. There's Jimenez. Rafi Devers with that terrible collision the other day with Tyler O'Neill. Tyler O'Neill was leading the league in home runs, and then he runs headfirst into Raphael Devers and splits his head open. What are you doing, man? Not good. I think I think everybody will be okay. I think O'Neill is probably going to miss a few, though. Tim Anderson in there, former batting champion. Jason Hayward. Remember Hayward was going to be the next big mega star when he was with the Braves. He was hitting those tape measure home runs in spring training, like bashing cars in the parking lot. He never really materialized as much of a much of a hitter. Definitely made his mark as a good defensive player, though, out in right field. He's one of the, uh, one of the great right fielders of the last decade. See if O'Neal can win the MVP. I don't think it's gonna last. He, I, he, I, I get, he could hit 35 homers. I, I would, I'd say 35 home runs. I think he had a really good year a couple years ago, with the Cardinals a few years ago. But I don't know if he's gonna win the MVP. I'd say it's much more likely to be someone like Bobby Witt. How about J. Rod? By the way, having just a terrible season so far. Did you give your parents a Jabs family card, and did you auto? I gave everybody in the family a Jabs family card, yep. I didn't autograph them, though, unless they asked me to. Olivia asked me to sign hers, so I signed hers. I didn't know if I should, like, inscribe it. I, I, don't, I, don't, I didn't inscribe it. I was thinking about writing something like, thanks for taking this pick on Olivia's card, but it was like... The marker's already kind of thick. I thought it would have like kind of like ruined the card by writing all that. Beyond the rabbit hole says O'Neill slumps too much when he, when he gets hot. Yeah, he definitely stays hot for a while. Is there a members only Monday this week? Yeah, it's coming up. I just didn't get it uploaded yet on Monday. Busy day on Monday. It was uh, you know had the kiddos, had a miniature golfing. And all that stuff. I should just stop calling it Members Only Monday and just say I'll give you a, a video each week because I think the last last week I got it uploaded a day or two later as well. Another one? Three for three. We've got a hot case. Every single box of Big League has had an autograph. Josh Leinbarger is going to get the Chas McCormick autograph. Literally three for three. Man, I was thinking every other box would give us one, which is still is a great output for a $50 box. There's a Jordan Alvarez blue. EJ was so lucky to get that coin, 6 AD. Yeah, we were actually talking about it on the way home. I said, EJ, can I buy that coin off you for 20 bucks? And he said, no. I was like, all right, EJ, how about $100? He said, no. I said, All right. I'll give you $200 for that coin. He said, no. So that coin means something to him. It's it's in, it's not in great shape or anything. It's probably not even worth $200. But that just shows you it's uh, it's special to him. He wants to keep it. I don't know why I saw that Toronto thing on the screen. I should have this up there. He's got a whole bunch more coins to go through in his book. So, Ross says, if all 10 boxes have autos, we're opening this entire case. I know. There's only 10 boxes left in this case. The other ones I put in the Patreon packages. Nathan, speaking of Patreon packages, says, I don't know if you're seeing my messages, but I pulled two autos. Out and the Jabs family card out of one Patreon blaster. Epic big league blaster. I've had, you know, a few people have sent me messages about their Patreon package this month. Camille also pulled the Jabs family card and she also pulled two autographs out of her big league Patreon package. So it's, uh, you know, some people getting some good stuff for sure in big league.
And the people that opted out of Big League and wanted Top Series 1 Blasters, I sent yours yesterday. But yeah, I think you have a much better chance of pulling a auto from a blaster of Big League than you do flagship tops by a long shot. Kind of like an underrated, I think it's a very underrated product. Let's see what else we've got. We are currently three for three on autographs. This is finishing off this box. I get, yeah, the Big League Blasters are hot, I guess. Heritage Retail is good for autos, too. I kind of disagree with that, Kiwi. I opened an entire case. Did you see my video from Saturday? Opened an entire case, pulled one auto from 40 boxes. Chris says, I got two Ellie cards from the Blaster you sent me. Nice. Two Ellie cards. Not too bad at all. This is box number four. Can we keep this streak going of all these autographs from Big League? We are three for our last three. Let's see if we can make it four for four here. Also, don't let me forget to give away a free box of Bowman Inception once we're done with this Big League round. We'll come back tomorrow. We'll wrap stuff up. Wrap up Wednesday. It's also What Not Wednesday tomorrow, so we'll be on What Not. Typically, the What Not auctions are about an hour and a half, two hours tops. I just have to decide if we do these first, if we do the team breaks first and then What Not, or vice versa. Here we go. Autos in all of Heritage are hard to find. My LCS did a full hobby case break and only found two. Another one, Blake Rutherford, four for four. So you can buy a thousand some dollar case of Heritage and get two autos in the whole case. You can buy four boxes of Big League for about $200 or less and get twice what you get in a thousand dollar case of Heritage. There's another one, four for four. Blake Rutherford for Tiffany Jordan, rookie auto right there. Did you send the personals from last Tuesday? I think I did. They should be out there. I'm trying to think. I know I've got a stack of, I think it's Heritage with your name on it. From I think that was from Saturday, though. Since you have two boxes in that. But I, Yeah, I don't think I have anything waiting to be shipped. I think the rest of the stuff I just shipped yesterday. So maybe it'll be there the latest tomorrow. Yeah, one auto in a case of Heritage Blasters was rough. Lester says, I have a big league, the best product of the year. It is, for the price point on it, you you can't, uh, can't really can't knock it. Yeah, the design, you might not think the design is all that great, but it's cheap. And it gives you autographs. You don't have to even worry about getting a relic instead of an auto. It's either an auto or nothing. That's says I got a red, nice auto out of 75 Raleigh Fingers out of Heritage the other day. So maybe Heritage is just basically doing Hall of Fame autos now. And so there's less of them. I don't know, but there's just not a whole lot of autos. Here in the breaks, I've been pulling from three different cases. I've opened 12 hobby boxes. I've found zero autographs so far, which is crazy. There's another Dominguez. We'll see. I put an auto guarantee on one of the rounds. I think it was H3 where I said we will find two autographs, right? We'll throw in an extra box. So we'll see what happens. Good thing I didn't buy like 25 cases of Heritage this year. I bought like 25 cases last year of Heritage high number because it was a great price. But I'm not paying... Not paying those prices. By the way, it's about a case of heritage off somebody. It got shipped to me. It's like the shape of a soccer ball. The person that shipped it to me literally just printed out a shipping label and slapped it on the uh, the naked, quote-unquote, naked box of heritage. Naked case of heritage. Like, who does that? It's a, over $1,000 for this case. You're not even going to 
put it in a, a another box with maybe some packing peanuts or bubble, uh, you know, bubble wrap in there. That would be like me just taking this box. Let's say you bought a personal box of Big League right, right here. And I just slapped the shipping label and sent it to you just like this. Like, who does that? Like, all the corners around it. I didn't open it up yet. I'm trying to decide if I should expose them or not because they have a card shop. And just be like, okay. I, I never want to be that guy that says, don't buy from these people. Because I, I, uh, I try to avoid that kind of stuff. You know, you live and you learn. I, I've... I did uh, some card store videos long, long ago where I was like, yeah, here's my review of this card store. It's not that good. Their prices are super high and this and that. And then I felt bad about it. I don't want to hurt anybody's, you know, I don't want to hurt anybody's revenue or anything like that. You know, if... If a card store sucks, then people are going to know that by going in there and seeing that they're, all their crap's overpriced. Wow. I can't believe this case. Five for five. Owen White, another one right here. Patrick Gregory. Five for five. Yeah, Joe, I just... You know, and then that person gets mad at me because I exposed them for just being lazy. And then all of their customers will be mad. I don't want to just try to, I just always try to stay neutral. But man, five for five. Very good story. But I still might, I still might show it to you. Just, I, I thought maybe I could make a short out of it where maybe I show you the case, how all the, all the corners are rounded off, and then I take one of the boxes out, and I just open a couple of packs and see how bad it is. Maybe make it into a short. I don't. I don't think it's. I don't think it's full video worthy. Like, who wants to watch a whole video of me opening the corner packs of case to see? I, mean, I don't. I don't think that's that's full video content. It might be a short content. Five for five on this case. Weird. Why is Big League so good? No influencer cards yet in this round, but this has been a great round. Beyond the Rabbit Hole says you should get a refund and send it back. How are cases normally shipped to you? Uh, yeah, almost always the cases are within a bigger box, and there's usually about at least an inch of space all around the case. And that space is filled with packing peanuts or bubble wrap. Typically, it's packing peanuts. That's why I always have such a big supply of packing peanuts. That's why whenever you buy anything from me, whenever I ship it, I'm always using packing peanuts like um, as extra padding around the cards. Like I wrap them in cardboard, and then I put packing peanuts on the top and bottom to kind of keep them in place in the middle of the cardboard. That's why I always have so many packing peanuts because it's usually how I get them. The mix says, uh, short my work. It's like when you did a video of the Big League Blaster got destroyed. I was actually just going to do that members only just for fun. And then it actually ended up being just an amazing twist with that box. So I was like, I think maybe everybody should see this one. Because that's really weird that this box that was utterly destroyed ended up somehow those cards immaculately escaped being destroyed. And there was a $100 hit in there at the time. There's Kutch. So we were five for five, and there's five more boxes left. If we go 10 for 10, that's going to be something else. We might go 0 for our next five. I don't know. We'll see. Here's the next five boxes out of this case. Literally five for five. We've got five more boxes left in this round, and then we'll call tonight, and we'll come back tomorrow, hopefully, with Chrome Black and Bowman's Best. Patriot says, you're over 200 viewers now. For, yeah, for, the, for a while, we were at three. YouTube was ultra glitchy when we started. Just let it go. I'm not. I'm not trying to make a big deal out of it. Out of it, or even like get my money back. I just think it might be interesting. As kind of like a public service announcement, it's like, hey, don't ship cases like this. Like you would just think common sense. 
it tells you not to do that. Thanks, Keith. Thanks for watching. Here's the next box. Are we going to go six for six? Five for five with autos from Big League on this Team Break Tuesday. The autos are always flipped upside down. And Tony says, if we go 10 for 10, Jabs, give me that penny from the year six. That would be pretty amazing. You have to get it off my son first because he is not giving it up. Yeah, he's like uh, he's like super into coins now. That's really going to probably draw him in even more. Uh-oh. First row or first stack of the box doesn't have an autograph. The streak might be over here. I feel like the other boxes have the autograph in the first stacks. We'll see what happens here. He wouldn't sell for one. Yeah, he probably wouldn't. That's his, like, prized possession right now. I got to just make sure he doesn't try to, like, wash it off. The mix says, okay, who jinxed the autograph streak? It's probably me. This is box number six. We're currently in a five-for-five five streak finding autographs in big league. And I think, I don't know, I'm not having a good feeling about this box. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy about it. I've tried to get him into different things. I've tried having him get in the sports. I've had him play soccer. I've had him play baseball and basketball. And he likes those sports, but it's just it hasn't worked out. So if he can maybe you know, have a hobby, that would be really great. Then I popped the Jabs family card. That would be nice. But this box here was a stinker. There's nothing in it. No autograph, no influencer card either. So we're still five for six. Lester says, don't clean coins. I know that, but my son, he doesn't really care about... I don't think... He, he just wants them for his own collection. What about playing the guitar? He plays the drums in the school band. But, yeah, I think that... I think that it might be better to get him to play. I don't think he can play guitar, but I have not put it past him to maybe be a keyboard or piano player. All Jabs family men, up until my brother and I, were piano players. We ruined it. I don't know how. My dad can just sit down, read music, and play whatever. Same thing for my uncle, my dad's brother. Same thing, my grandpa was like that as well on my dad's side. And I'm sure that his dad and his dad could do the same. But, uh, nope, we couldn't. I think we both had piano lessons, but we just didn't really like it that much. I mean, I like music. I, I play the guitar a little bit. I can't read music. I can just look at tablature and see, okay, this is where I put my fingers. This is this chord or that chord. So I learned how to play guitar. But this Patriot signing off for the night. Thanks for being here. Got a bad feeling about this. I think we're about ready to go 0 4 5. Does John play an instrument? Not that I know of. Is Bowman Sterling? When does that come out? I think it's usually sometime in the summer. Sometimes the schedule changes, though. I have no idea. Like, for example, Chrome Black usually comes out near the end of the season, like in the fall or winter. Last year it came out in December. This year it's popping out here in mid April. Nothing in this first stack. Next stack up. Inbox number seven. Jab's Family Band. That would be cool. Sophia plays the violin. I actually got her a violin for Christmas, but I have not heard her play it ever. Something with, like, the bridge is messed up or whatever. And she thinks that it's a defective violin. So I've still never heard her play. I guess that's what I get for buying a violin off of Amazon. It was a couple hundred dollars, though, so I thought it'd be okay. But what do I know? Olivia used to play the clarinet. 
So there we go. We have our, we've got our wind instrument. We've got a violin. We've got the strings. We've got the wind in instrument. We've got the guitar. My son could play the drums. We're pretty much all covered. I can have my other daughters maybe pick up maybe the bass. We'll see. Kenny's Cards and More says, let's try this again. If we can get 30 more subscribers tonight, I will give away a box of Chrome Update. Chrome Update, that's a pretty good box right there. I think a Hobby Box is like 130. And the Jumbo Boxes are like 300. So 30 subscribers is all he needs. And he'll give away something big. He's at, I think, 114 last time I checked. So let's go ahead and get him a new subscriber or two or three or 30. If you haven't been to Kenny's Cards and more, thank you very much, by the way, for the donation. I really appreciate it. We'll go over to his channel, grab the link, and I'll put it in the description so you can easily find it. It's the $130 box. That is a hobby box. Miles says, I have a lot of wheat pennies if your son needs some dates he's missing. Post the dates and I'll see what I have. Sounds good, man. I know that he's uh, he's got a lot from the 40s and 50s. He is pretty low on his like pre 1935s. There's a lot of blank spaces there. I I'm probably probably better off just taking a picture of it. And uh, yeah, I don't even know. Some of those pennies might be valuable too if they didn't mint a whole lot of them in a specific year. That's really cool of you. Thank you very much. Michael says, I'm already subscribed. I told him Jabs is the best there is. Thanks, man. Yeah, I need to get the brass in the Jabs family band. Let's see how Kenny's cards and more are going. He was at 113 when I checked about 30 minutes ago. He's at 119 now. Not, wow, check that, 133. That's a nice little nice little game for you there, Kenny. Matt L. subscribed to you, Kenny. Yeah, that's tough. When you're starting your channel out, that's tough. I'll tell you that my girlfriend Sophia started a channel on YouTube. She's going to run in here and yell at me. I think she's sleeping on the couch right now. She actually made me cut out some parts of the flea market video because it shows her making a video and she doesn't want anyone to know that she has a channel because she wants to do it without any help. She's like, I don't want any help. I've because she thinks that oh, wow, there's another one. Hunter Goodman, Colorado Rockies. That is our seven is that our seventh auto or sixth? Another one, it goes to Michael Mishkin. So there's two boxes left. I think that's number six. Post her channel. <laughs> she got mad when I told my son. She has two subscribers, me and my son. And she's like, I told you I wanted to do this on my own. Why'd you tell him? Six autos. Josh says, me and Bryce asked last stream, we say if you want to be on an all uh, an out sports podcast, any other way I can talk to you about it, how would that even work? Would I just like call in? I don't really know how to do any of that stuff. She has two videos up right now and I can't give you any other hints because you'll find them. One has 19 views, I think, and the other has four. And I think half of those views are probably from us. I told her you should uh, let me help you out. You could just do you should do like a baseball card channel. Just um, I know it's not like your main hobby, but if you want to have fun and you know interact, get some subscribers, you could. But I think she's afraid that the subscribers she does get, they're not going to be interested in the content she's making because. You know, she's a girl and she's not all about sports. She's more about the, the beauty and the fashion industry and that stuff. Makes it the Freudian slip. Oh, her channel name is this. I can't let it go. She'll be so mad at me. I do have an iPad. 
It's like a Zoom call. Yeah, we could maybe do something like that. She does have a fashion channel right now. So just testing the waters, I guess, over there. I told her, I was like, look, I was able to help my brother out. I think we got him a thousand subscribers in a week when he started his channel. There's Ellie De La Cruz can help you out too. get started. If you want to, I was like, you could do some baseball card content. That'd be cool. It's William Contreras. Cause she does like buying cards and then reselling them. Going to card shows and stuff. We'll be going to another card show this weekend. This is box number nine out of 10. Best way to talk outside of stream, Josh. Man, that's that's tough. I'm really, really awful at emails. I have like 100, how many, 190,000, 100 emails, 180,000. They just get completely buried. Probably just send me a request or send me a penny through PayPal. One of the problems is I'm always so busy, so I, I guess we'd probably have to do it on like a, a weekend or something like that. Two more boxes left. We're at six autographs already out of the eight that we've opened so far. This is box number nine. Six out of eight is not too bad. 75% of the boxes have had autographs. And we've got another one. Andy Rodriguez. We're up to seven autos. White Sox Thompson says, Shy City Instructor wouldn't be where they're at. That's right. We help them out a lot. They used to be in these streams all the time. They would uh, just do what Kenny's doing. They would send super chats for 20 whatever dollars and ask for subscribers. We'd send them over there, help jumpstart their channels. Ross says, when you come to New York, if you're interested, I'd be willing to buy a bunch of boxes from your garage off of you. I guess I could probably like stack a bunch of those in there. I know that I'm going to be using some of those for Junk Wax Olympics. There's a bunch of cards in there. Striker just hit 100K. Yeah, I saw he jumped from 50,000 subscribers to 100K real fast within like a month. Crazy. He's got some kind of growth hack over there. I got I to gotta ask him what that is. Yeah, crazy. Congratulations on... You notice that too. Yeah, I don't know. There's, um, maybe he got, maybe linked somewhere on Top's website, but yeah, he got like, uh, 50,000 subscribers in a month, which is crazy. 33,000 subscribers in March. But here's what I don't understand. The views never cracked a million. So I, I don't get it. 33,000 subscribers in a month but 700,000 views. So the views went up a little bit, but I gotta figure out what that hack is. Because usually, if you get a big giant swath of views, you might have like a couple million views in a video or something and get a bunch of subscribers there. So I don't know how that happened. But I got to figure out what... I'm, sometimes, you know, that's what I'll, I'll do. I'll go and I'll look at uh, another channel of success and be like, how are they being so successful? Like, what did they do to kind of get that algorithm to help them out? I, I don't know. It's, it just seems like you got a bunch of subscribers somehow. And uh, that's awesome. 100K. There's Spencer Strider. 
But I mean, if you're gonna, I, I guess if you're gonna get a bunch of, I, I don't know. I would rather have, honestly, I would have rather have the views than the subscribers, though, because subscribers, it's nice to have a, a big number, but I'm sure he would probably say the same thing. He'd rather have more viewers, have a couple million viewers a month, which would be awesome. That'd be awesome over here too. I don't, I think we're, I don't think we're a couple of viewers a month, million viewers a month. Using maybe around one, one million. That's here's this last one, last one of the night. It's almost midnight here. Last one of this evening. We'll come back tomorrow and do some chrome black. Views equals D narrow says the mix. It, it does. Ross says, could we do more big league for the upcoming team breaks? I mean, yeah, if people want to buy the spots, we can. I'll have to look at look around and kind of maybe play around with stuff. Maybe put some mixtures together, some big league in. I don't know if I do another. Do you think I should do another all out big league? Q says, I've never seen another channel jump like that though. Yeah, that's it's crazy. I, I hope that he doesn't have like some like super stand out there at the bottom of a bunch of subscribers, because that, that would actually hurt his channel in the long run. There's Ozzy Albies right there. Can we get one more autograph? Adolis Garcia. Byron Buxton. There's Juan Soto, and I don't know. We got one stack left. Yeah, that's why I said I hope no one did that to him, Casey. I'm sure he could appeal it, and um, but I just I can't make sense of how that happened. Looking for our eighth auto eighth autograph, I guess. Yeah, big league is definitely definitely cheaper. For sure. Here's our last one. Got Yuri Perez. I don't know if we'll get an autograph in this last box, but it was a good round. Seven autographs out of ten. Seventy percent of the boxes had autos, which is really, really good. Ross says, don't forgive, forget to give away that box of Inception. Thanks for reminding me. I honestly probably would have forgot. That's why I said keep reminding me. Because sometimes when it's late, I'm just ready to get to bed. White Sox Tom says, don't you get a YouTube plaque at 100K? You do. They give you a plaque at 100K. And I think the next one after that is 1 million. Let's give away this Bowman Inception box to somebody in the breaks. So here it is. It's a $200 box. Bud says, have you, heading to Santa Monica, have you heard of Bleecker Hobby? Has a new card shop downtown. I've heard, I, I know they have one in New York, right? Bleecker Trading or something. I think Breaks with Jess works there. I was actually planning on stopping by there and hand delivering her the card that I pulled out of one of those boxes for her. But yeah, it's always cool to get a new card store. There's a new card store opening here. In Westmoreland County, I just saw the uh, the notice about it. So looking forward to heading out and seeing what's there. I don't think it's going to be anything new, really. It's it's a card store that already has a bunch of outlets around here, and they're just opening their fourth location. So I'm guessing it'll probably be much of the same. All right, let me go ahead and populate this list. I'll give away this box. Basically, what I'm doing is taking all the names of everybody in these breaks 
and I'm putting them in a long list. Bowman's best nine. Even if your break didn't go tonight, you're still in the running. So here's what I'm... I got this plugged in because this thing's about to die. I don't know if you can see that or not. But I'm taking all of these names here. I've already did Inception, Big League, and Mixer 5. I already put them in this list. But I'm just going to go and take everybody's name, throw them in here, and give you a shot at this Bowman. Be sure to read the Bauer news. What happened? Did he get signed finally? Just tell me the Bauer news. I can't wait. This is going to take probably like three minutes. I hope you got signed. That would be fantastic. He's playing in Mexico right now. I think he signed a one-month contract down there. His accuser got arrested. Good. She should be the one in jail. That's ridiculous. Blackmail, extortion, all that stuff. But yet, Bauer's the one that's paying the price. It doesn't make any sense. He is... He's innocent. Maybe I just need to make a... I don't know. A couple people need to get together. Get like 10 people together with a little sign. It says, free Trevor Bauer. Bring back Trevor Bauer. And then they'll, they'll bring him back. I mean, it happened with the Cleveland Guardians. There was always like 10 people standing outside Progressive Field protesting the Indians team name, and they got it changed. So maybe if we get a little group together, we can get Bauer brought back to the big leagues. And I'd love to see him with the Pirates. That would be fantastic. Free Trevor Bauer. Trevor Bauer should sign with the Pirates. That would be awesome. Yeah, I don't know if we'll ever see him back in the big leagues. As, as long as Rob Manfred is around, I have a feeling that Manfred might be behind this. Here's all these names here from the Chrome Black Pick Your Team round. I got one more list, then we'll be, do this. It wasn't the main accuser who was arrested. It was a different one. Jeez. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I remember hearing there was multiple accusers, but... They all just probably saw dollar signs. Hey, if he's walking free right now, it's probably nothing to it. You're innocent until proven guilty. He's actually been been through the judicial system. Never had charges brought against him. Oh yeah, I think I think what Trevor's gonna do is he's probably just going to bide his time, try to get back into MLB, and then once his playing career is over, he's gonna sue them. For everything they've got. Uh, if he sues them now, he's definitely never getting back in the big leagues. But once he maybe is past his prime and it's clear he's not going to play ever again, I don't know if there's like a statute of limitations on it or whatever, but I think that Bauer's coming for MLB and he's going to, he's probably going to go for two to three hundred million dollars in lost pay. All right, let's go ahead and do this now. We're going to go back to our randomizer, and we're going to give away this box. Randomizer. Random.org. White Sox Tom Rachel Luba is her name. I don't know why he just didn't ever just marry her. It seems like they would be a good match for each other. It seems like they've got good chemistry and everything. Would have saved him a big headache from all these, uh, you know, gold diggers or whatever you want to call them. All right, so here's all the names. We've got multiple names in here. It's going to be everybody that was in the break from this week or last week. And then some people got their names in multiple times for buying in early. He wasn't paid all his money from the Dodgers, I don't think. He was on the restricted list. When you're on your restricted list, you don't get paid. So he got paid maybe like maybe half of his Dodger salary. 
So what he'll he'll probably sue for the rest of his Dodger salary and then the rest of his projected earnings. Maybe he'll twenty five million dollars a year for eight more years or something like that. I could see I could see him getting three hundred million dollars or at least trying to get three hundred million. Let's see who gets it. Bowman Inception. We will do this is a one hundred ninety nine dollar box. We will do number one ninety nine. The winner is one ninety nine. Whoever gets number one ninety nine. Let's see who it is. One ninety nine. It's a hundred ninety nine dollar box. So one ninety nine is the number that I want. One ninety nine is the winner of the box. One ninety nine. Before we get to the winner of the box, Raphael has just sent in. Says, "Hey, Jabs, got the channel set up for shorts. The video of me and Jess trade is up finally. If anyone cares to see that." Breaks with Jess, going to try and grow on here as well. Ralph's Breaks, thank you very much. Let me throw up your channel link. Thank you for the donation. I really appreciate that. But let me do this, and I'll put up the link. So you can go check out him and Breaks with Jess making a deal. It's going to go to Michael Gunter. Mr. Gunter is lucky number 199. So, Michael Gunter, you get a free box of Bowman Inception coming your way. I'll just slap your name on it, and then I'll just put it in when I ship your team breaks later this week after I get everything all sorted out. So I'll put Bowman Inception for Michael Gunter. So Michael, thank you very much. And here's the link to Raphael Soto's page. If you would like to go and check him and Breaks with Jess out, making a deal. Did you ever wonder what they what, what the deal was? I know, I wanted to know. I just, Breaks with Jess was in here and said, me and Raphael just reached a deal. And uh, I don't think we ever found out what the deal was. So if you want to know exactly what Jess gave Raphael for her card, you're going to have to watch it on his channel. And here's his channel link coming up in three, two, one. There it is. So click on that and go and check out Antonio's channel. Give him a subscription as he is starting his channel off. And thanks, everybody, for being here tonight on this Team Break Tuesday. Tomorrow we'll come back. We'll probably have a double upload or double live stream tomorrow. What not Wednesday will be back along with wrap up Wednesday. We'll wrap up some Chrome Black if I can get the cases in. Hopefully I can. I know where they're at. They're about an hour and a half away. They're sitting in this other store, but it's an hour and a half away. So we'll see if my case guy can pick them up. I don't know if I feel like driving an hour and a half. That's three hours round trip tomorrow on such a beautiful day. Um, but it'll be coming sometime this week. We'll do those Chrome Black cases the very least, we'll have whatnot Wednesday for you. So thanks very much for hanging out. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Tuesday night, and I'll see all of you tomorrow. Good night, everybody.